The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let the desert and the dry lands be glad. Let the wasteland rejoice and bloom like the asphodel. Let it burst into flower. Let it rejoice and sing for joy. The glory of Lebanon is bestowed on it. The splendor of Carmel and Sharon. Then they will see the glory of Yahweh, the splendor of our God. Strengthen all weary hands, steady all trembling knees, and say to the faint-hearted, be strong, do not be afraid. Here is your God, vengeance is coming, divine retribution. He is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind will be opened, the ears of the deaf unsealed. Then the lame will leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb will sing for joy. For water will gush in the desert and streams in the wastelands. The parched ground will become a marsh, and the thirsty land springs of water. The layers where the jackals used to live will become plots of reed and papyrus, and through it will run a road for them and a highway, which will be called the sacred way. The unclean will not be allowed to use it. He will be the one to use this road. The fool will not stray along it. No lion will be there, no ferocious beast set foot on it. Nothing of the sort be found. It will be used by the redeemed. For those whom Yahweh has ransomed will return. They will come to Zion shouting for joy and their heads crowned with joy unending. Rejoicing and gladness will escort them. And sorrow and sighing will take flight. And our response comes from Psalm 85. His saving help is near for those who fear him. His glory will dwell in our land. Faithful love and loyalty join together. Saving justice and peace will embrace. Loyalty will spring up from the earth and justice will lean down from heaven. Yahweh will himself give prosperity, and our soil will yield its harvest. Justice will walk before him, treading out a path. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened that Jesus was teaching one day, and Pharisees and teachers of the law who had come from every village in Galilee from Judea and from Jerusalem were sitting there. And the power of the Lord was there so that he should heal. And now some men appeared, bringing on a bed a paralyzed man whom they were trying to bring in and lay down in front of him. But as they could find no way of getting the man through the crowd, they went up onto the top of the house and they lowered him and his stretcher down through the tiles into the middle of the gathering in front of Jesus. And seeing their faith, he said, My friend, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to think this over. Who is this man talking blasphemy? Who but God alone can forgive sins? But Jesus, aware of their thoughts, made them this reply. What are these thoughts you have in your hearts? Which of these is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven you? Or to say, get up and walk. But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralyzed man, I order you, get up, pick up your stretcher, and go home. And immediately before their very eyes, he got up, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home praising God. They were all astounded and praised God and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Gospel of the Lord.